Joel Thune, like, win the draft and get money, that'd be good. I'd approve of that. I'm sorry. A little bit. I mean, life's full of disappointment. <laughs> uh, well, that's a start. That, I'm not sure how much it's going for. Um, I'm going to pick it. Okay, it's five tickets. It's five tickets, but key thing. It's a Planeswalker in Limited. So, I am not going to complain. If the Chandra Pyromancer was terror or like not in the pack, if it was... If it was a Tybalt, for example, okay, I might, I might even take Tybalt. Now I'm gonna take the Chandra. Um, there's, there's no doubt that I take the Chandra. If she wasn't in the pack, um, it's close between Rumbling Bailoff, Death Gaze, Cockatrice, and maybe like Duress. Duress is like way behind Cockatrice and Bailoff, though. Um, Sun Sensory Deprivation is also really good. There's a lot of hidden gems, but we take the Chandra. Like, there is no, there's no doubt, um, I, I have, I have a love for Death Gaze Cockatrice, but a 4-4 four, for four, 4 is good. Ooh, how greedy do I want to be? How greedy? With Dark Prophecy. Uh, the answer is probably not, because I think this is worth nothing. Also, I can't spell. I don't think it's worth anything. I think it's cool. Yeah. So, we have options here. We have basically two options, and uh, three if you want to go greedy. That would be the 5-3 Beast, the Deadly Red Clues, or the Celestial Flare. Baron is underrated and very good. Um... I, I actually like Baron a good amount. The spider's insane. Like, I really like Deadly Red Clues. I like it more than Marauding Malhorn. But, and this is a big thing, Malhorn is the only red card in the pack. I want to cut red as hard as I can first. So, we're going to see what happens from there. Here, okay, well... We could build a Lightning Talons deck, which is a deck that is awesome. Hey, Tommy. Um, but there's a... It's either Looter. Fire Shrieker is a card I love. Talons is a card I love. There's another Deadly Recluse in the pack. Note, there's a Recluse and an Elvish Mystic. Um, so it's really, really close. It's not It's not the Boar. Talons, it's a, it's plus three plus zero first strike. Uh, it's between Talons and Fire Shrieker. It actually is between those two. Um, I'm going to build the aggressive, the aggressive red deck. It matches our Mulhorn. It matches our Mulhorn a lot, actually. So we're going to build an aggressive red deck, and we'll match the second color. We're going to try for it not to be green. Um, and there's a reason for it. Oh my god, there's nothing in this pack. Jeez. Jeez, this pack's so bad. I want to try it for it not to be green, because green had... We passed two deadly recluses. Uh, if it's a land, you may put it on the battlefield. I mean, this combos with Chandra. Rootwall is a card I like. Um, Disperse is a card I like, actually. And people underrate Disperse. I'm actually going to take the Disperse and see if I... This this pick is pretty mediocre, and I still want to ship the green. Like, I... I in core sets, you really... Yeah, giant Growth is good. I, I'm not denying at all that Giant Growth is good. I'm going to take the Disperse. I don't want to be into green yet. And there's a reason for it. Door of Destinies. Ugh. Someone's getting the Slivers deck. Um, I'm going to take Barrage of Expendables, actually. 
I want to take pick up active treasons. Um, I think Door of Destiny is worth M14, nothing. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, I'm going to take Barrage of Expendables, actually, and see what happens from there. I'm not going to hate drop the door. I want people to get into it. Um, or another enchantment enters the battlefield. You may put a plus one plus one on target creature. Just seems bad. I think I'm going to take the Canyon Minotaur. <sighs> no early drops. Still open. No, the, the pick is Minotaur. Like, Old Ancient Wood is cool with Lightning Talons and all. Yeah, there's a lot of green. I'm just going to keep shipping it, though. Um, I, I'm going to see what happens from here. Uh, so we have Ranger's Giles, good card. Essence Scatter, if we want to go blue-red tempo. Yeah, we've got no removal. Are we sh If we get rewarded pack two, we'll be okay. It's either Grotto or Scatter. I'm not taking Brindlevore. I'm going to take the Scatter, actually. See if I can do a blue-red tempo -y deck, since it seems like the aggro version isn't working out. Um, what comes next is going to influence a lot of my decision, because I think, yes... No, the next... Oh, that's a second Lightning Talons. Yeah. I'm going to take second la Lightning Talons over Goblin Shortcutter and start prioritizing two drops. Because um, the Lightning Talons deck is... It's a deck. If you, New player draft's worth it. If you have a spare ticket, have the draft. See it as, as a fun moment. Um, don't try and see it as anything else. Okay, so this is our original pack. Um, all the good cards are gone. I'm going to take the cancel, because it's the best card in the pack. I don't want a quarter shield. I don't like a quarter. I didn't like it in Scars of Mirrodin. Um, Armored King Tricks is terrible. It was in previous core sets, and I don't want it. I like Dawn Strike, Dawn Strike Paladin, but this is not the deck for him. Interesting. Very interesting. Please stop telling me to take basic slant, basic lands. Um. Uh. I like elixir. I'm gonna take lake cover scout, and there's a reason for it. The reason for it is, we might we might just take green the next one. Uh, best card, wow. Hive Stirrings and Duress? I'm not taking Glyphs, I'm going to take Hive Stirrings. That card should not still be here. Um, so both the red cards tabled. I'm going to take the Flesh Pulp or Giant. Um, just to cut red. Cut blue. Take that away from somebody. And there's the Forest that people were telling me to take. Um, so we're, I mean, we know we're base red. What we do afterwards is going to be open. And, and the reason I didn't take the elixir. Oh my god, really? Last stream, I have no money. Um, I mean, this pick. I, I, you can't argue with Doomblade. The person to our right is black, and he's going to get rewarded with this nightmare. I don't want to take a shock. I really don't want to take a shock. I would be willing to splash Doomblade even. It's that that much that I like. Yeah, I'm gonna take Doomblade. I mean you can't say no to Doomblade. It just gets rid of things that shock if this was a Chandra's Outrage, I would take Chandra's Outrage. Um If it was anything yeah, if if Chandra's Outrage is really good. If it was Arc Lightning, it'd be okay. Uh how much is Ratchet Bomb worth? Ratchet Bomb's not... Uh, no, it's 15 tickets to... It's 15 tickets to actually draft. Is Ratchet Bomb worth anything? Nope. And I think I take the shock here. 
It only really costs 11. Yeah, it, it costs 14 tickets, 11 if you have packs. Yeah, I think the pick here is shock. I'm looking for active treasons. Like, I think the guy to our right is trying to force some sort of red-black deck. Well, that's a gift in Mind Sparker. Um, it's a 3 2 first strike for 3, which is the card I want. I, I think it might even be worth a couple tickets, but Mind Sparker is the pick for us and our deck. Yeah, it's nothing. Pitchburn Devils is fine. But the fact that it has first strike, like we're we're playing the lightning talons, mind sparker sort of thing. It's whenever an opponent, right? Yeah. What does it take to get into streaming? Um, some upfront cash, so that way you can actually afford what the stream is. If you're doing Magic Online, if you're doing a free game like League of Legends or anything else, um, then you don't have to worry about it. Ooh. Burning Earth is going to be worth something. Two tickets worth. I'm taking it. It's either that or our Kaomancer. Yeah, I'm going to take the Burning Earth. I'm not going to play it. If this was a pro tour, I'd take the Archaeomancer. Um, over the Fire Cat. Ah, no, Fire Cat with Lightning Downs. Seems good. Yeah, I'm going to take the Burning Earth. Just hide it. Oh, wow. If a red instant or sorcery spell you control, or a red planeswalker you control, would deal damage, deals that much damage plus two. How greedy do I want to be? How greedy? I think I'm thinking greedy. I need more red instants or sorceries. Period. But I'm taking it. Let's have some fun. Last draft. Let's do it. Okay, here. We take a Hatchling, which I think is the pick, because we have double Lightning Talons. Um, yeah, I'm going to take the Hatchling. It's a Flyer. I think the person to my right is Black-Red, which is going to be sad. Um, yeah, here. There's no illusion, yeah. Um... How many enchants we got? One, two, not much else. This is not four, right? No, it's not. Dude, we're not going to get any black for the rest of the pack. I'm taking the giant growth and the hope that green keeps going. This is bad, right? Yeah, it's bad. Take a second dragon hatchling. This is actually good in our deck. Hatchling into talons. Um, sure, scroll thief. Scroll Thief is a combo. I'm not going to take a third Hashling. I'd rather take the Scroll Thief in case we go blue-red. I want more blue, uh, or more red damaging spells. Like, if I don't have three or more, I probably don't want to play this. And so we've got one, two, damage to a permanent or player. Legit MTG was recruiting me. Okay. I, I no one's come recruiting for me. You got John Medina to message you. I can see why. Congrats, by the way. John Medina is the guy that, uh, was it Medina? No, I was, I wanted to do Pact Power because of, uh, Frost Breath. Sure, yes, please. Um, Shaw, uh, Chaz Andres, however you pronounce his name, he's the one that inspired me to do Pact Power. Um, Shiv and Dragon would be okay. It's not actually what I want. I want Chandra's Outrage. That is actually what I want. I just want three Chandra's Outrages. Sure, for the sideboard. We're, we're base red, probably red blue. Like, we're probably not playing that. Uh, Arc Lightning. Arc Lightning would be good. Last MTGO stream because of no money. 
Um, sure. I think I lost half the story. Medina put the whole team up. Oh, okay. I'm actually starting graduate school. So, and I have to uh, help. Well, I mean, try hosting another charity draft? No, I'm not going to raise a charity draft for myself. Um, if I do a draft like that, each creature attacks this turn if able. But that's a Sarah Angel. <sighs> The biggest Chandra's outrage, by the way. I'm studying electrical and computer engineering with a focus of on uh, multi-agent systems. I want Goblin Diplomats. Um, I think it's a fun, fun card to play with. But the pick is easily Chandra's outrage. One of the best pieces of removal, period, in the set. Of course, the Pyromancer's Gauntlet. So I'm going to take it. Um, I actually move tomorrow. Ooh. Do we have enough red instants or sorceries? Or enough instants or sorceries? Well, let's see. That, that, that's Coral Thief. Yeah, it's Pyromancer, by the way. Um, I'm, I, planned, I planned for this. It was all, it was all part of my plan. Mwahahaha. Hmm. Scroll Thief, Frost Breath, Time Ebb are the picks. Taking a Scroll Thief. For a reason. Scroll Thief plus Lightning Talons. He's really good. So I'm going to take Scroll Thief. Huh. Do I take a third Lightning Talons? How greedy am I? I just literally just played Lightning Talons dot deck and lose to removal. Traumatized is not that good. How many creatures? Nine creatures. Three Lightning Talons. Sea Kite's okay. It's what a three. It's a two three. I don't want to get a Tweet Bird. I want Lightning Talons. Yeah, Lightning Talons. That was probably a bad pick. I'm going to take Shimmering Grotto here. Hi, green. Okay, now I don't take the Lightning Talons. I think I take the Seacoast Drake, actually. I want to go two drop into Lightning Talons. That's what this deck is designed to do. I'm not playing the, P the Pyromancer's Gauntlet, by the way. I'm not taking the Sliver. Drake is better, it's Evasion. Like, our deck is literally going to be Lightning Talons dot deck. This is bad unless you have Lightning Talons. Like, this is a blue-red tempo deck. I'm not playing the, the Gauntlet, though. We didn't get enough removal. The guy to our right is pretty clearly black-red. Uh, trying, Or at least he's definitely black. I think I'm... Don't play the Barrage of Expendables. Third scroll thief? That just feels dirty. That feels really dirty. I don't think it's the pick. But I'm gonna do it. Cause it feels really dirty. Scroll thief lightning talon deck. What's our win condition? Scroll thief lightning talons. <laughs> we just lose to we just lose to removal. Blue-red blue tempo. Blue-red tempo. I would like to pick up... Well, I mean, we're not going to pick up another uh, Chandra's Outrage. We're not going to pick up um, Arc Lightning. If we, we have, no, we've got Outrage, we've got a Doom Blade, we've got a Shock. Um, Gale Rider Sliver. Uh, I'm going to take the Lava Axe, actually. Just because there's nothing else in the pack. 
Ooh, that's a gift. This Academy Raider. That's a gift. This card's actually people underrate it. Uh here it's oily. Take a duress. We lose a duress. Damn, everyone's not doing more videos. Um, I'm not gonna be doing streaming, but you asking me if I'm running Chandra Pyromancer? Yes. Okay, so this is right now the deck. Uh, 23 with this land and then other basics. Yeah, the Chandra helps a little bit. It's not gonna be enough to keep me going, though. Headquarters not doing more videos? I didn't hear that. This is not foil, unfortunately. If this was foil, I would have been more content. Um... Thank you, Zemet, for well saying. Ugh. Chandra's like five ticks. We looked it up already. I met Milo at uh, I'm gonna take egg, but it's terrible. Yeah, I met Milo at GP Vegas, taking the gate. That was actually a good draw. Uh, Headquarters did, in fact, text me multiple times today. Um, I put two and two together. That Burton Haven shouldn't be in a pack. Sure, it's our creature gets Death Touch. We could have first strike Death Touch, except I don't want it. Buying it and unboxing on YouTube if it's worth the money. Well, you're not going to get your money back from ad revenue, I'll tell you that much. Probably won't get the money at all. The question is, how much is it worth to you to open? And Because you're not going to get it back. Like Even if you open a Karn, it's not. Like Karn is, I think Karn I think is the worth the most. Batter Skull's up there. But they're all mythics that are good. Like There's no rares. Princess Malera. Malera is not worth that much. Hey, I I played Malera Pod before Malera Pod was cool. Let's just put in everything that I want, and then we'll work our way from there. Hey, that's 23. Should, do I play Pyromancer's Gauntlet or not? Oh, wait, do I play Doomblade? Yes, please. Why are you lagging? It's not me. How do I feel about this deck? We'll be lucky to get to the finals. Gotta make one cut. And it's either the negate. I think it's the negate. There's just so many. No, I'm playing the lava axe. This is our finisher. I don't want to cut Doom Blade. I really don't want to cut Doom Blade. You're right. Uh, I just don't wanna. It's removal. You don't play twenty four. Run 16 lands. This is a 17 land deck. Just because I want to hit these. I actually am going to leave a negate just because there's so many. Um, ten six. Is that what I want to put? Ten six with a shimmer grotto. What do I have? Double blue cancel, and that's it. Yeah. I don't know what happened to Milo. Uh, I. Did my local game store ever get from the Vault 20? No, but that is a story I can tell. Uh, I had my copy of From the Vault 20 reserved for MSRP. Wizards of the Coast called the company and said, Yeah, we're not actually sending you any at all, even though we promised you. So I will not be having a From the Vault 20 opening on my channel. What's her 7 even do? Like, I don't even care. Next to the top 10 cards, choose an instant or sorcery and copy it three times. This plus Lava Axe, GG. 
it's from the vault Jace. 20 from the vault 20s, yeah. I am jealous, or like I'm sad that I uh, can't, um, oh, I'm, there's going to be a point where the Doom Blade's going to kill me, I don't care. Um, I'm very sad that I can't, uh, open a From the, or From the Vault 20 on my YouTube channel. I am very sad about that, because I was able to open From the Vault Realms, and that was a pretty cool opening. Um, I didn't advertise it well enough, so not a lot of people seen it. But I was unable to get my From the Vault 20, because store got gypped, and I got gypped, and everyone's sad. Um, so, if I could get a hold of it at MSRP, I would buy it. This would be my, you know, it would be my last big buy on Magic, period, for, for a good long while. I'm not going to buy more Modern Masters. Everyone's over overpricing Modern Masters. The Commander decks that come out I think are going to be interesting. I'm curious to see what how it, how it will affect Legacy. Because the last ones gave us Scavenging News, Shardless Agent, were the two big ones. Or am I forgetting about something else that they printed? Oh, Flusterstorm. Sealed from the Vault 20 will go on eBay. New Law knows better than I do. Baleful Strix, thank you, Slater Aid. No, that's forgetting one. Um, my guess is 300 350 it, But that is almost pure speculation. I would listen to New Law's answer a lot more than mine. Night of Ninjas. 500 from Zemet. So, wow. Look at me underpricing it. Sealed from the Vault 20, new law. What do you think it's going to stabilize at? 